Okay, welcome to lesson four. Um, we're getting towards the end of this. Uh, that takes us to worship. Now, worship's a really, really important thing, but um, a lot of times it's just, what is worship? So let's, let's kind of look at this. Worship is focusing on God. Worship is um, when you realize what he has done. Lord, you created the heavens and the earth. You put the stars in their place. Lord, you made the sun. You created us. Lord, you're always with us. These are, these are, these, these are um, statements of, of worship to God. But worship's more than just these things. Um, it's also praising him with words, you know, thoughts. When, when you're thinking about things, about how good God is, when, um, but it, it's more than that too. Um, worship, worship is most broadly how we live. We either live our lives as worship to God, and this is very pleasing to him, or we live our lives in worship to us and that's very pleasing to us and the thing about worship is it kind of demands all or nothing either we learn to put put god first and, and to and to, to do what he wants us to do or we learn how to always do what we want to do and so worship has this big has this concept to it it's it, it means so much more than just one little thing but it's more than just that too it's also our feelings when, when you feel gratitude to god lord you, you you saved me and you just you start thinking about how good he is and how he's always been with you and how he's always you know excuse me worked in your life and and how he's always been always always you know just all those different things that he's done in, in your life and in history and 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 so you there's that there's a certain feeling of worship um it can involve worship i mean in music but to believe that worship is music is completely wrong. Um, in a church service, we sing songs, and this is called a time of worship, yes. But to say that worship is music is just drastically limit what's going on. Because we're not getting together and listening to music and, 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 and reading words off of a screen. We live our lives as an honor to God. We honor God with our lives and with our thoughts and with what we do and with what we say and with what we feel. And then as we seek him and as we're praying throughout the week and as we're reading the Bible throughout the week and as we're going to the church services and strengthening each other and all these things of worship, then when we come together and sing a song, that's what give that, gives that song meaning. That's what gives that song meaning. If I sing a song to God, or even if I mean something, or, 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 or get tingles when I'm singing a song, if I'm not backing that up with how I'm living, I'm not really worshiping God. If I say with my mouth, God, I worship you, I praise you, and then I'm thinking in my heart and in my mind, I hate that guy, then I'm not really worshiping God. Because part of worshiping God is in loving your neighbor. It's in loving other people. So if we're not loving people, we're not really worshiping God. Uh, we worship God for a lot of different reasons. First off, we worship God because he is God. See, he created us, and that gives him the right to be worshipped because he is God. There's no one like him. He, is, he has always existed, uh, whereas we have existed. I mean, our world hasn't always existed, and then we have only existed for a short time on that world. That's that's a mind-boggling concept. Uh, we worship God because he is good. See, if we worshiped God but he was evil, that would be one thing. Because you'd be like, well, we worship him because he's God and so he deserves it, but we don't really want to. But it, God doesn't just deserve worship. He also, because he's God, he also deserves worship because he is a good God. He's faithful to us. He's long-suffering. He's He died for us because we were stuck in sin. That's just a powerful concept. That is a powerful concept. God is good. And the longer you serve God, the more you'll see his goodness. We worship God because he tells us to. 
And since he's the creator, he gets to decide and what we should and shouldn't do. <laughs> so that that's pretty simple. Um, so he tells us to, and we say, okay, and we worship him. We worship God because of what he does. See, it's easy to say, okay, well, God's God, so I'm going to say, thank you, God. But to then say, okay, I'm going to worship God because he saved me from death. I'm going to worship God because of how he acted to Israel for, thousands, for hundreds of years. I'm going to worship God because of what he's done in my life, in my marriage, in my finances. And, and, and you see what I mean? Because of what he does. And all these things work together. You know, we worship the good God who tells us to worship him, but he's doing things and, and has done things that just are worthy of being worshipped and praised. Um, so there's really two different types of, of, of worship. There's personal times of worship. These are often ca called devotions. These are where you, um, besides living a life um, honoring God, um, these are times where you where you get alone and you read the Bible and you pray and you just you just worship God in your heart, Lord. You're just so worthy. And uh, these are personal times of worship. And this personal worship causes us to grow in our hearts. It causes us to learn discipline. It causes us to be changed with the way we think. Because when 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 difficult times come, we start thinking about it and we get discouraged. We can't sleep, and then it's just a cycle of of, of getting torn down. But when we worship, it breaks us from that cycle of just bad thinking and teaches us to instead focus on God's goodness. And when we focus on God's goodness, there's just a certain amount of comfort and peace that comes on us that, that we can't explain. And we are, in fact, changed. But then there's community worship, like, for instance, what we do at church, um, where we'll sing, get together and sing songs together and we'll, and we'll uh, study the word together and that kind of stuff. Um, and when I say study the word, I'm talking about the Bible, God's word. Um, in these times of community worship, when we all get together and, and sing a song together, this allows us to be used in the gifts of the Spirit. First off, um, it allows us to be, um, you know, to the gifts of the Spirit are like, for instance, um, having a word of encouragement, having a word of prophecy, um, service, those kinds of things. These are these are gifts of the Holy Spirit, um, and so He equips us to do these things. And in worship time, and in times of, of us getting together and worshiping together. This allows us to be used by God in the Holy Spirit in greater ways. Um, and as far as who the Holy Spirit is, that's going to have to be a discussion for a later time. So like, for instance, we get together on, on Halloween, and we have a time of serving the community. This is community worship, where the church is getting together to love on our community. That's a worship to God. It's a sacrifice. It's an offering to God. And he's pleased by that. On Sunday mornings, we get together and we sing us and we sing songs, and we just focus on how good God is. Um, this this once again it allows us, whereas the Halloween event that allows us to be used in gifts like service, um, in, in 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 singing songs and stuff, we're able to be used in, in different gifts, and uh, and then also it allows us to be strengthened. There's something about being with other people, just focusing on God. And about his goodness that causes us to just be strengthened in the faith. And there's just something wonderful about it. Um, and it really helps us uh, to realize, you know, who God is and, and how great he is and how he can handle whatever we, we're going through. Um, and so really that's that's the idea of, of worship. Worship is music, but it's more than music. It, it's our lifestyle, how we live, our day-to-day, -day, our moments when nobody sees us, our moments when we are around people. What we do with our life and with the time that God's given to us, um, these are all uh, worship. So uh, in the next lesson will be the last lesson. It will be uh, on tithes and offering. And uh, here we go.